evening. I'm Jane Velez Mitchell in for Nancy Grace. Breaking news tonight in the desperate search for three-year-old Florida girl Kaylee Anthony. Bombshell DNA results are in. The question, will more criminal charges be next? After weeks of keeping a tight lid on DNA evidence and the desperate search for Kaylee Anthony, the results are in. And it's heartbreaking. CNN affiliate WKMG now reporting that hair found in the trunk of mom Casey Anthony's car shows signs of decomposition. Garrett jumped up into the trunk, front paws, stuck his head in. He alerted to the odor of human decomposition. The hair confirmed to be that of little Kaylee. This late breaking bombshell combined with cadaver dogs that also hit on the car and air samples confirming a dead body was in the trunk all appear to lead to the same conclusion that three-year-old Kaylee Anthony is most likely dead. Cindy, did you want to say anything about the new developments? There is no new developments. Meanwhile, that California bounty hunter who believed he could get mom Casey to talk now says he's working to revoke her bond. Leonard Padilla says it could be just a matter of days before Casey Anthony heads straight back to jail. Does Casey know that this possibility is going to happen? Absolutely, yes. But how is she reacting to it? She doesn't. No reaction from Casey about going back to jail? No. I'm Jane Velez Mitchell in for Nancy Grace. More bombshells in the Kaylee case tonight. The shocking DNA results are finally back and the news appears to be gut-wrenching. For the very latest on these stunning developments, let's go straight out to Jessica D'Onofrio, reporter for CNN affiliate WKMG. Jessica, you are reporting some ominous results. Tell us what your sources are telling you tonight. Well, Jane, it's definitely not good. All indications point towards the fact that Kaylee Anthony is most likely dead. Now, hair found in the trunk of Casey Anthony's car is likely that of her daughter Kaylee's, but they haven't completely ruled out the mom in that case. Now, we have confirmed that that hair sample pulled from the car did show signs of decomposition, but we want to be careful and let people know that there can be false positive results with this kind of of testing but you know you add all of that up with the cadaver dogs alerting to the backyard two separate ones and then you have cadaver dogs alerting to the smell of decomposition in the trunk of Casey Anthony's car and then you add that along with the air samples that were returned from the University of Tennessee showing signs of decomposition that there was a decomposing body in the trunk of that car and it all adds up to no good it certainly does we're going to talk more about the forensics in just a moment but more breaking news our producer Natisha Lance Nancy Grace producer on the scene in Orlando Florida at the Anthony home I understand just in the last few minutes there's been a flurry of developments bring us up to date Natisha well, Cindy Anthony just came out of the home a few minutes ago. She started hammering in the, these no trespassing signs. I'm not sure if you can see them behind me or not. Uh, but she started hammering in no trespassing signs on her lawn. She was also in the RV over here that uh, Mr. Padilla has been in with his team. And she came out of that RV and people asked her, are you upset about Casey going back to jail? She said, it's not happening. Casey is not going back to jail. Um, when she was hammering in those signs, she was also giving a little bit of information as well, too. Um, she said if she was fearful for Casey being out of jail, she would not have Casey in her home. She said there was absolutely no odor in the car when it was towed on June 30th, and possibly a body was placed in the car after that. She said that she even went down to the tow yard today and spoke to the gentleman who gave the statement to police who said that there was this odor and he said that that sm he told her anyway that that smell did not start until a week after it had been at the tow yard but Natisha, um, I have to jump in here for a second because we all heard her on the 911 call saying it smells like there's a dead body in the damn car and I think that's almost an exact quote yeah. She talked about that too, Jane, and she said that she was just reacting. She said she didn't know what she was smelling, and come to find out later, she said it was the rotten pizza. Now, she said despite all these reports that are coming out with the DNA and the air testing results that came back yesterday, she still believes that Kaylee is alive and people need to be out looking for her, even commenting on the presser that happened today with Captain Nieves, where he even said they are still looking for a missing person and not a dead person. Well, Mark Williams, News Director, WNDB News Talk, 1150, you've covered this from the very start. Obviously, we have compassion 
for Cindy. Mm -hmm. She is going through hell. It appears quite likely she's lost a granddaughter. And of course, uh, if her daughter goes to justice on this, and we don't know, she is not charged in connection with the disappearance of her daughter, she could lose her daughter as well. So we have compassion for her. But when she says there's no smell in the car, take us through the evidence that something untoward happened in that trunk. Well, the biggest thing, of course, is when they got the car, you know, and we heard the, the audio tape about the, the, the smells like a damn dead body back there. That's number one. Number two, cadaver dogs hit on that car uh, in the impound area when the police took that automobile. Uh, we have the, the tow truck operator saying that, uh, that it smells like a body. There was a body in there in his impound yard because just a week before he had inventoried a car which in which a man took his own life, which you know his body decomposed and this is just a sad state of affairs let me just go back one thing the 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 information that Letitia just brought us is is, is pretty good is darn good information earlier today the reason for the no trespassing signs is she got into her car backed out of the garage and the media rushed her while she was uh, on her own private property in her driveway. That's why the no trespassing signs went out because she does not like the media all of a sudden. Six weeks ago she could she could she couldn't find a camera she didn't like. Now she just hates the media altogether. Again last week when the media crowded around she dropped the F bomb and told her son Lee to spray the media to soak the media down with a hose. Now uh, the the other information of going into uh, Mr. Padilla's uh, RV that's just unconscionable. Where is she going with all this? And, and this is me just talking as, as kind of a journalist, looking at it as a, as a, from, a, from a vantage point. Well, you know, uh, being a journalist myself who's been on many of those yeah. stakeouts, I can certainly understand when you're on the other side of it uh, mm -hmm. that you might feel persecuted or harassed when a huge group of people with cameras coming at you.